great. Do you always get dressed up like this for dinner? To do it especially for me. My, my, my. Aren't you the pretty one? You've seen a ghost. Mm -hmm. This is Devin. Martin just called from the morgue. They found Anne's body. Well, here we are. This is not your car. Yeah, it is. Uh, wait a minute. What happened to the other one? Oh, right, you mean the uh, little fender bender. Yeah, the Mercedes wasn't mine. I borrowed it for the day because uh, old Tallulah here was in the shop. <laughs> Tallulah? Yeah. You know, after the old time uh, movie actress Tallulah Bankhead? Yeah, well, I know who she was. Get in. Get in. Just press down on the handle in the door. I know how to get into a car door. <sighs> Tror du bara att jag skulle göra det själv? En dumskalle. See what I have planned for you tonight. I can hardly wait. Better buckle up, Bella. <sighs> I tried so hard to push you out of my heart, Thomas. Didn't dare to hope. Me either. I know, and it's too Shh. late. But Shh.
I'm sorry, that was just a huge play. <sighs> what, don't you like your burger? I'm really not into burgers and fries. Right. You know, I should have taken you to a more upscale place like um, Taco Bell. Ha ha. Stop staring. What if I said I was dazzled by your beauty? Smile. Are you always like this? Only when there's a full moon and the dolphins play. Oh, I see. You know what? Appearances can be so deceiving, can't they? Mm, that depends. On what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see. That is a dangerous admission, Miss Erickson. I thought you liked living on the edge, Doctor. That depends. On. How steep the fall is. Were you planning on falling? Well, maybe I already have. What? Falling. Would you just pass me the damn ketchup, please? Dang, dang, dang. You just said the magic word. Ketchup. Oh, you... Just stop <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Um, happen to have any money? Mm -hmm. Just ask. You mean you don't have any money? I never got to tell her I loved her. I was too busy being angry. She knew that you loved her. You moved to Miami for her. No, that's just it. I didn't. I wanted Martin to pay for what he did to my dad, and I wanted to punish her for not coming to the dedication last month. Yes, but if you didn't love her, you wouldn't have been so angry. That's what love is like. It doesn't make any sense. What do I do now? I'd like to offer my deepest sympathy, Miss Hamilton. Your mother was a lovely lady. Thank you, Commissioner. If there's anything I can do. Yeah, there is. You can arrest Martin Devon. It's me. The matter we talked about, I think it's gonna play out just fine. You up. No. I'm fine. Fun life, huh? I know I had to come all the way out here from Detroit just to do this. Hey, look. If the guy got nasty, you should tell Jimmy Ray. No, really. I'm all right. It's not that bad, I guess. Mm. 
definitely pays the bills and then some. As soon as I finish school, I am getting out of here. I once thought about going to college. Then I heard how much it cost, and well, that ended that. But good for you. By the way, I'm Tina. Kayla. Where are you from, Kayla? Live in the now, hmm? Let's not project. Why are you so afraid of Macy? Because I know what he's capable of. All the more reason to get out now. I can't. Not until I find out what he's into. I'm sure Bobby knew. Was he going to expose Macy? Yeah. He was going to have a board meeting after the Avanti show. I think Bobby had a file on him, and perhaps Macy found out about it. And then Bobby died. Yep, and everything he knew died with him. You sure about that? No. That's why I have to find out. I want to make Macy pay for the past five years. I want to see him stripped of the one thing that matters to him. And what would that be? <laughs> Daddy's company. Yeah, he'd kill for that. Here. Drink this down fast. She'll take you back to your apartment. Thanks. You've been a really good friend, but I think I just want to be alone right now. I understand. I'm really glad you were there today. I couldn't have done it without you. Hey, 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 no waterworks. Harry, you insensitive Claude. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, why don't you order some donuts and coffee or something? Guys, guys. I know what you're trying to do, and I really appreciate it. But what I need you to do is to go after Martin Devin and print and let everybody know what he did. Well, look, uh, Gabby, you know, like, you know I really respected your dad, and, and, and I feel really bad for you because of your mom. But uh, the bottom line is, the sun can't open itself to a lawsuit. What this bozo is trying to say is that we can't make any allegations without hard proof. Crystal, you saw him attacking her. I also saw Anne walk away without a scratch on her. That's besides the point. Well, that's the point. Hey, why don't we just wait for the autopsy report to come back? Stop talking about my mom as if she's some non-person. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it to sound like that. <laughs> Let me lay it out for you here, okay? If the son won't go after Martin Divin, then I'll go to your competitors, the informer, right? Abby, you don't want to go to that rag. I just want you to print the truth about what Martin Devon did to my mother. I'll give them an exclusive, I swear. I'll call you tomorrow. Now what? No, and I go back on the trail and see if Gabby's right.
<laughs> oh, did you really think it would be that easy to get rid of me? Like you did with Jack? <laughs> Jack Hamilton was my friend. I, I never hurt him. <laughs> oh, you're as guilty as sin, and we both know it, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and? Oh. Oh, Anne. I am so very, very sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. I am looking for my Martin Devon. Well, well, well. Catherine, long time no see. Thanks, sir. I got this one. Jamie, <laughs> I heard you've been promoted to um, police commissioner. Elected. Oh, <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you out of your policeman's uniform. So you decide to do some slumming, huh, Catherine, while you're back in town? <laughs> I see both of your sons are back in Miami. That's where they belong. Hmm. Must be nice having most of your family together. Have you met Ian Blake? He's my assistant. It's from your old stomping ground. Can't say as I've had the pleasure. Ian, New Yorker, huh? Uh, yes, sir. Born and raised. Hmm. Good boy. So what can I do for you, Catherine? Where's my husband? Uh, don't you mean your ex-husband? probably on his way home from the morgue after IDing his late wife's body. How did she die? Don't know yet. Autopsy will take a couple of days. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look at all surprised, Catherine. Now, why is that? I think I should take you home now, Mrs. Devon. I think that's a great idea, Ian. You can obviously see that she's in a state of shock. I'll be sure to call you, Jamie if I ever need a parking ticket fixed. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Hey. What do you want? Like this whole thing? It's gone too far. And I think it's time that we gotta stop acting like a couple of kids. Yeah, speak for yourself. Actually, I was talking more about you. You know what? I don't need this. Why don't you just get out of here? Look, why don't you just give me an inch, man? I think I deserve it. All right, look, I came here to tell you that I don't wanna fight with you anymore. Now you do what you need to do, and you say what you need to say. But you know what? What's important to me is our friendship. That's some stupid game. Good. Because I don't think I'm going to play basketball. I want to be with you too, Michael. But I know you're in the middle of a big trial right now, and I see no reason for you to come here until I get more information from the police. Yeah, I just need some quiet time right now. I promise I'll uh, call you in the morning. Right, me too. Okay, bye. At least you're both together now.
please not shut the door. We can get through this, Martin, and any other thing if we do it together. I don't think I can this time. I just don't think I have the strength. Well, then lean on me. I have enough for both of us. Daddy, you can't keep accusing my father. And you can't keep defending him. I know what he did. First, he killed my father. Daddy, stop it, please. Now my mother. What do you expect me to do, sit here passively and let him get away with that? Are you saying Lucas thinks Macy was involved? Well, he can't prove anything, at least not yet. So you're gonna help? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Look, I need to do this for myself. You're playing a dangerous game, Sage. Miss Erickson, this is your lucky night. This better be good.